Hey guys, this is Pete Buckwald from Creative Audio Production, and today I want to show you how you can use Archeria's Moog Modular as an external effects unit. You may have noticed, uh, if you have this plug-in, I can zoom in for you, it, it has a spot where you can access external audio from your software, or you can even plug in electric guitar as an, an audio track and, and run it through uh, this modular synth, which is pretty cool. Um, so <clears throat> let me show you how to do this. There, there are about three hurdles, and if, if you miss one of these hurdles, this won't work at all. So, um, And I had to discover these by trial and error and a lot of Google searching. So let me share with you the, the three or four secrets. First of all, it, it will not work on a mono audio track. In, in Logic, I can change... Well, let me show you that it's non-existent and here audio unit plugins it's not listed under Archeria that it's not there uh, I can click on this little circle and it makes it into a stereo track and then under audio effects there it is and I have, I have access to the modulars and effects unit I've not been able to, to use audio inside the ARP 2600 or the mini and if anybody has information on how to, to do that, I'd, I'd be curious to, to hear about your successes or what you've learned. Um, even the presets, when you open these units up, the ones that say EFX, <clears throat> they don't do anything. <laughs> the ex it doesn't even patch in the external audio, so I, I, I don't know what's going on. So, um, the first hurdle being make sure you have a stereo audio track. For the sake of my example, I made a, a little four track sequence. Let me get to the mixer view. All, all four of these are going out to bus two. So they all come together right here. And I inserted an, an instance of Moog Modular. Um, <clears throat> and it looks like I set up the patch already. So external left, I patch into the VCA. Uh, turn up the volume a little bit. Just, I'm going to run it in here to check for sound, and then we can start trying to make a more complex circuit and mangle the sound a little bit. So <clears throat> the second hurdle is make sure the sustain is all the way up and turn everything else all the way down. And uh, as I turn that up, you'll, you'll be able to hear it. All right, so get the sustain all the way up. Um, I hope you heard that. I... I my screen capture software doesn't allow me to hear what you're hearing. Uh, if that doesn't work, um, this in spot right here, do a right click and make sure it's connected to um, the keyboard trigger off. So connect keyboard trigger off. And then it would work. So now that we know um, both the beginning and the end of this circuit are working, we can do things like run it through uh, filters. Let's plug into this filter. Then we can modulate that with something. I'm just guessing since I, I can't hear. And there are all kinds of things you can experiment with. The uh, sample and hold, um, ring modulation. I mean, you can run through the, this through anything you want and, and see what kind of sounds you get. All right, guys, that's pretty much all I have here today. Uh, I plan to do another um, kind of an overview of this Moog Modular. Um, some other things I found as I messed with it and I read the manual. <laughs> Surprising what you can learn when you read a manual. Um, but that's all I got for this time. I mainly wanted to show you guys how to access your um, audio from your workstation and get it into this and, and you know, kind of mangle the sound, turning knobs and things like that. All right, have some fun guys and uh, please leave a comment. See you around.